CMHC has been an immense boon to Canadians seeking home ownership through its mortgage insurance and securitization programs. The Minister of Finance has worked in tandem with CMHC to control and protect the Canadian housing market. Since 2008, pursuant to the credit crisis, the Minister has introduced a number of changes to moderate consumer debt through mortgage lending. We have supported these changes. In October 2016, the Minister announced more changes which affect the mortgage industry. These changes included increasing the qualifying rate for five-year mortgages from the mortgage contract rate to the Bank of Canada rate. This change effectively reduces the amount of mortgage a borrower seeking a five-year or longer-term mortgage can borrow. The rationale is to ensure the borrower has the financial resources in the event of rising interest rates at renewal and at the same time temper some of the demand in the overheated markets. While we are supportive of this change, it must be noted that this change only affects insured mortgages, which is less than 30 percent of the overall market. The remaining 70 percent of the market, which is uninsured, is not affected. As the average insured mortgage in Canada is $300,000, and mortgages in excess of a million dollars cannot be insured, this change will reduce the affordability of housing for first-time home buyers in the softer markets in the country, the Prairies, Quebec, Atlantic Canada, and will have a minimal effect in the overheated markets in Vancouver and Toronto. From a policy perspective, if the intent of the stress, is, stress test is to protect highly leveraged buyers from themselves, then all consumers should be subject to the stress test to ensure a fair marketplace. Um, OSFI could achieve this by amending the required underwriting guidelines. Okay, and do you think the new mortgage rules are beneficial? I know you had some criticism of them, but... Yeah, uh, I take the view, and, and Canada Guarantee takes the view, that the success of measures the government has taken over the years has been a net positive. Um, we support the concept of a stress test, we think that's appropriate. We think that's prudent. We could debate whether the, the aspect of this, how many basis points above today's mortgage rates would be appropriate, whether it's the current 200 points or 100 points, but I think that's a different type of debate. Um, so we take the view the stress test is prudent. We would remind the committee, though, the stress test is being applied only to the insured marketplace as opposed to the entire marketplace. So it's, it's, that level of prudency is being applied to about 30% of the marketplace. And how long do you